I'm Logan Gregg, we're at Country Camper, and today I'm joined by our service expert, Ethan Winkler. And we're here to provide you with our Tech Tip Tuesday tip on the operation of a power tongue jack, and in the event that you need it, the manual override. So Ethan, take it over, please. Uh, so this Lipper tongue jack right here has two switches in the front. On the left, you're gonna have an on and off switch for your docking light right here. And on the right-hand side, you're gonna have your retract and extend switch. Uh, same concept, it's a rocker switch, so retracting it. All you do is press and retract to extend and bring it up. You're gonna hit extend. Say you're going to hook up for the trailer for the first time in say a month and for some reason the jack's not working or if you're even losing, uh, leaving the campground and the tongue jack stops working, you know you have power because the light's working but uh, when you're hitting retract or extend uh, and nothing's happening, you can take your uh, rubber plug off the top, set that aside, grab your uh, jack crank put it in the top like this and you're gonna end up uh, either cranking it up or cranking it down. So it's just gonna be spinning around like this and then you'll see that the trailer is either gonna go up or down, depends on which way. It's a little slower doing it this way, but obviously if you get stuck uh, without that working, you're gonna have to fight through it and get that tongue jack to, to go up or down. Now there's a couple different styles out there, but they're all gonna work essentially the same. So depending on the manufacturer of the jack, all the electric jacks are gonna have a manual override, whether it's on the side or the top, um, in order to get it to go up or down. Awesome, thank you. Appreciate the tip, Ethan. Yeah, not a problem.